Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject operating system was semaphores. So the semaphores is a one of the important topic in the operating system. So now let us see what is this. Actually semaphores is nothing but it is just an integer variable. Semaphores will represent as a S variable. This is simply an integer variable. Why we are using this integer variable and why we are calling this as a semaphores? So let me explain. Actually the semaphores synchronize, uh, we call it as a synchronization tool that does not require a busy waiting. It doesn't want to maintain a busy waiting. It want to execute the processor, okay, whatever the processor that wants to enter into critical section that has to be executed. So it doesn't support busy waiting. So, a semaphore is a synchronization tool that does not require busy waiting. And we are taking S as an integer variable which used for the semaphore. It can be accessed via two ind indivisible atomic operations. So, the semaphore will use two indivisible atomic operations, weight S, signal S. So these are the two atomic operations. These two atomic operations are used by the semaphores. So what do you mean by weight and what do you mean by the signal? Why this semaphores is using this weight and signal to maintain the busy waiting? Okay. So uh, first, what this weight is doing? Whenever you mention that weight semaphores, first this weight semaphores will enter into this while loop while s less than or equal to 0 do no operation semicolon s has to be decremented s is equal to s minus 1 so this is the code for the weight and next coming to this signal next atomic operation is signal which is used by the sum of first variable signal s signal s indicates s is equal to s plus 1. So here weight is doing the operation as a decrement operation and the signal is uh, using the operation as an increment operation. So why this semaphore is using these two atomic operations weight and signal. Okay. So we know that whenever this while condition uh, is satisfied, it will execute the program. Okay, here there is no program. Why there is no program? Because it is ended with semicolon. While s less than or equal to 0, there is do no operation. So, whenever the condition is satisfied, it doesn't do any operation. So, it is continually uh, rotating. Means it is in a loop condition only. So, whenever this condition is satisfied, it has to be in a busy waiting. So, we have to take care that this condition doesn't satisfy it then only the process will be executed without busy waiting. So that's why we have make it as a semicolon. Semicolon means this statement will be ended. So we know that the while condition. So generally the while means the whenever the while check the condition. First it checks the condition means s less than or equal to 0. So whenever this condition is true, it enter into the statement. So, it will execute until uh, the statement is true. It checks the conditions and again it goes for the another checking the another condition again execute the statement. So, if the condition is false, it exits from the loop. So, this is actually the while uh, operation. So, here I am saying while s less than or equal to 0. Okay. Do no operation means there is no code here. So, whenever the condition is satisfied, there is no code to execute for this. So, just here what it says while, check the condition. So, if the condition is satisfied, it has to execute the uh, statement. But there is no statement here. There is no statement. So, compulsory it has to be exi exit from the loop. So, the, whenever the condition is satisfied, it exits from the loop and uh, execute the next statement that is present in the code. So, that's why we are using this wait operation. Okay, one process is executing without busy waiting. 
So why I am decrementing this s is equal to s plus 1 and I am using the s is equal to s plus 1. So whenever the sum of us value is 1, then only that process will enter into critical section. Other process will not enter into critical section. So after decrementing the value, s becomes 0. So next another process means it uh, saying that it is exit. So if another process wants to execute again into the critical section, so that's why we are using signal operation s is equal to s plus 1. Here it is incrementing the s value as 1. So then next process will enter into critical section. So that's the concept of semaphores. The semaphores here we are using that. Uh, it is a synchronization tool that does not require a busy waiting. So, without maintaining the busy waiting, it is executing the program by using two atomic operations, wait and signal. Now, let us see uh, the sum of us uh, general synchronization tool. I said the sum of us as a general synchronization tool. Let me explain that. Sum of us as general synchronization tool that we used in the operating system how it is uh, how we call this as a general synchronization tool here we are using the two concepts one is a counting sum of us and another is binary sum of us counting sum of us means uh, Whatever the integer value we are taking, the integer value can range over an, un, an unrestricted domain. Unrestricted domain. So that is that you call it as a counting sum of us. Then what about the binary sum of us? Binary sum of us means integer value can range over between only two values that is a 0 and 1 which can be simpler to implement. So rather than going for the unrestricted domain if you are taking the more range of values it's better to take only two range values 0 and 1. So that is the concept of binary sum of us. Binary means only it is using the uh, two values 0 and 1 whereas the counting sum of us means it can use the integer value that can range over an unrestricted domain. Okay. So, uh, this sum of us will use the, it mainly provides the mutual exclusion concept. First, it follows the mutual exclusion concept. So, let me write that sum of us code here. Do. I am writing weight. Sum of us value. Next, critical section. Signal S. Reminder section, while condition. So, this everything is about the critical section. The main thing here is we have to execute the program uh, which are using the sa resource, uh, same resources that should be entered into critical section. So, whatever uh, the concepts here we are explaining is completely about process synchronization. Our main aim is we have to make the process synchronization. We have to make the uh, program as a consistent state. You have to make the program as a, uh, execute the program in consistent state, in a consistent state. So to maintain that process in synchronization, we are using this sum of us value here. So here uh, in sum of us, we are using two atomic uh, concept that is a weight, atomic operations weight and signal. So, in the previous mutual exclusion or in the critical section problem, I just given that entry section, critical section, exit section, reminder section. But instead of entry section and exit section, I am using the two atomic operations weight and signal. Why, why I am using this weight and signal instead of entry and exit section? Let me explain that. So, here I am saying that weight S. Starting the S variable, that is the sum of S variable should be initialized with 1. So, whenever the weight S is there, that weight program, what is that? Weight S, while 
is less than or equal to 0, no operation. Okay? And you have to decrement the S value. Exit the while loop. So, whenever I call the weight S, first it takes the weight 1. It takes the weight 1. So, it's checking is 1 less than or equal to 0. 1 less than or equal to 0. No, it's not 0. So, it exits from the while loop and decrements the S value. S minus 1 means 1 minus 1, 0. Now, here S becomes 0. So, whenever the S becomes 0, then the processor will enter into critical section. So, until that S will 1, uh, the processor will enter into critical section and execute the program. Okay, that process P1 enter into critical section. Here, P1 enter into critical section and executing the program. Okay, after that, I am calling signal S. Signal S means just it increments the S value. S is equal to S plus 1. Means 0. Previously S is 0. So it increments the S value. 0 plus 1. Now S becomes 1. So whenever that is S is equal to 1. Means it is coming to the starting position. Next P2 process will enter into critical section. So the P2 is waiting until the S becomes 1. So that is why we have used this weight and signal operation. Weight is decrementing the sum of us value by 1 and whereas signal is incrementing the sum of us value by 1. So, whenever the S is, one, S is equal to 1, it indicates that no process is there in critical section. So, then next process will enter into critical section. So, this is a concept of the sum of us. Thank you.